how do we upgrade Jenkins on uh, CentOS operating system. One of my previous video is uh, showing you how to install Jenkins on CentOS and uh, or which is nothing but Red Hat Linux. And just to um, add on to that, in case if you have if you want to do any Jenkins upgrade the same like CentOS and Red Hat Linux, so this would be the best way to uh, perform that particular update operation. And usually, so this requirement would come because the Jenkins is um, is providing a rapid features or rapid uh, releases regularly, like mostly like once in a month or twice in a month. And if you, in case if you just want to upgrade it, so we'll try to see it like the best way, which which can be done in an easier way. So for that, actually, so let me log into the operating system. So which where I have installed my Jenkins. So here uh, I have my Jenkins running. You can see I have a Jenkins running. So let me log into the Jenkins on the web console. I believe I already opened that. So the port number I'm using is uh, 8080. And here is the Jenkins portal. And if I just log in or on the down, if you just look, have a look, the current version I'm having over here is Jenkins 7.2. Um, to 20 uh, sorry uh, 2.73.2 and whereas I have a new version came up and you can just log in and it will show you that there is a new version has been released on the top it is just showing the update information if you just click on that so you'll be seeing that some 2.73.3 version is available right now and if you want to use or if you want to upgrade your existing machine so how could we do that so the best way I could um, you know the, as I mentioned so uh, the we would do is I would download because I have used the RPM based installation and I would like to use the same RPM based upgrade itself uh, for that uh, I'll just go to the Jenkins dot website so Jenkins dot Ivo and there I'll be downloading the RPM and I'll use a manual M upgrade so to upgrade it to the latest version so let's click on download and here we have um, Red Hat related operating system. So, and here is the latest RPM which is available. I'm going to download it. So, you can download any location. So, wherever you have, um, you know, so right access basically. And I can upgrade this one by using YAM upgrade. But before to that, it's always a best practice. So, there is already a service running. I, I just would like to stop it. So, how do I stop it? Is systemctl stop. Jenkins and you can go for uh, yum upgrade and if you provide the Jenkins file and now it is going to install the Jenkins latest version and it will clean up the old one right and fine you're done so system CTL and uh, you just start Jenkins so your Jenkins is now started and also you can verify the log that if there are any issues in the upgrade whichever is happened which is unable to start your Jenkins you can always have a look under uh, where like Jenkins and Jenkins.log so hopefully we don't have any issues so you can see this so Jenkins is fully up and running and I can go to the browser and try to refresh so I just logged in um, I'm getting the login page again, so I, I'll just provide my username and password and after logging in or before to the login itself you can verify here so the Jenkins version which you are using is now is 2.73.3 okay so this is one way of doing that and alternatively so you can also do another thing that so you have a var file which is being used by your Jenkins instance which is in the location of so, for, uh, Java so you can see the var file location so you can download the var file alternatively to rpm in your jenkins website so you have a generic var file so you can download and replace the existing var file also would work if for your upgrade okay so that's how you can simply upgrade your uh, jenkins to the latest versions uh, using m based installation so that's all for this video thank you